Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Question number 6, chapter 24, electric uh, potential. Figure 29 shows four arrangements, uh, four arrangements of charged particles, all the all the same distance from the origin. Rank the situations according to the net electric potential at the origin, uh, most positive first. Okay, this is important, most positive first. So, we have to consider the sign also. While ranking the potential, we have to consider the sign. Okay, We're so if we consider the sign, most positive will be greatest, most negative will be the least. Okay, most negative will be the least. Uh, take the potential to be zero at infinity, meaning infinity is our reference point. So, we're given four situations in which... Uh, 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 char two charges in each situation, no, uh, two charges here, here, four charges here, four charges here. All the charges are equidistant from the origin. All the charges are equidistant. If this is at a distance of A from the origin, then this is also at a distance of A from the origin. Then this is also at a distance of A from the origin. All the charges are at the same distance from the origin. And charge values are given, signs are given, plus 2q, minus 9q, minus 3q, minus 2q and so on. Okay, then uh, we have to find out, uh, we have to rank the situations according to the potential at the origin most positive first. Okay, most positive first. Now, uh, potential due to a point charge, or rather collection of charges, potential due to a collection of charges is gamma times Q1 divided by R1 plus Q2 divided by R2 plus Q3 divided by R3 and so on and so on. If all the charges or all the charge elements are at the same distance, are equidistant from the point of concern. Well, in this case, our point of concern is the origin. And all the charges are at the same distance from the origin. So if all the charges are equidistant from the origin, meaning R1 is equal, R2 is equal, R3 is some, say, R, then we can take R common. So potential will be gamma divided by that R and Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus 1. And Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus 1 is simply the total charge of the system. Okay, total charge. So it is simply gamma times total charge, total charge divided by common distance. Gamma times total charge divided by common distance. Okay, so total potential, if charges are equidistant from the point of concern, then potential at that point is gamma times total charge divided by common distance. In our case, that common distance I'm representing by A. Okay, so potential, potential at this point will be, what is the total charge? Minus 9Q plus 2Q is minus 7Q. So potential will be uh, gamma times minus 7Q. Let me write minus 7 here. Minus 7Q divided by common distance is A. So potential at the origin in situation E is minus 7 times gamma Q divided by A. Minus 7 times gamma Q divided by A. In situation B, what is the total charge? Minus 3Q minus 2Q is again minus 5Q. So minus 5 times gamma Q divided by common distance A. Potential in case of C, potential in case of C, let me write it here. What is the total charge? Minus 2Q minus 2Q is minus 4Q minus 6Q minus 7Q. So minus 7 gamma Q divided by common distance is A. Gamma is the electrostatic constant. And in case of D, uh, total charge minus 7Q uh, minus 4Q plus 2Q plus 2Q plus 2Q plus 2Q is plus 4Q minus 4Q done minus 7Q. So again minus 7 times gamma Q divided by A. Minus 7q. So potential in case of A minus 7q divided by A minus 7 gamma q divided by A minus 5 gamma q divided by A minus 7 gamma q divided by A minus 7 gamma q divided by A. Now uh, which one is greatest? Remember we have to consider the sign also. Okay, sign also. So minus 5 is greater than minus 7. Okay, minus 5 is greater than minus 7. So uh, potential in case of B is greatest, then A, C and D tie, minus 7, minus 7 and minus 7. So B is greater than A equals C equals D. That's it. Simple. That'll do for this session.